Welcome! In front of me I have Samsung Galaxy A15 and I'm gonna show you how to enable and how to disable the do not disturb mode on this phone. First thing you will need to do is to wake up the screen on your phone and you can wake it up, wake it up by pressing the uh, power button or by tapping on the screen. And after you wake up the screen you can swipe down from the top of the screen twice to open the uh, quick panel or shortcut panel. Because if you swipe once, you will open the notification uh, panel. Then you will need to swipe second time to open the uh, quick panel. And here we have a list of icons, basically shortcuts for different functions. You can scroll through this list by swiping left and right on the screen. And what you need to do is to find the do not disturb mode icon. As you can see, here we have it. And we can enable the mode by tapping on this icon. The icon will get highlighted, change the color, which indicates that the mode is enabled and then you can press the for example home button to go back to home screen and here we have the do not disturb mode icon which indicates that the mode is enabled you can also disable it by swiping down twice again swiping left and tapping on the icon again to disable the mode another thing you can do is to press and hold on this icon and here you can select uh, duration for the mode so basically you can select for one hour two hours four hours and until i turn it off if you tap on the icon like we did it before, it will turn on uh, until I turn it off mode. So basically it will stay on until you turn it off yourself. But you can also tap on uh, for one hour option and then tap on done and the do not disturb mode will stay on for one hour and then it will turn off automatically. Or you can turn it off yourself. Okay, so that's how you enable and disable the mode. We can also uh, set up schedule for it. To for, uh, so if you basically want it to turn on and off automatically. To do it, let's open the settings on our phone. In settings, scroll down, find the notifications option, tap on it, and here, uh, find the do not disturb mode option and select it. And as you can see here, we can turn on and off the do not disturb mode. We can select the duration, uh, but we are interested in schedule. Here we can basically make schedules uh, for the do not disturb mode to turn on automatically and turn off automatically. We have a pre-existing one. This one turns on at 10 p.m. and turns off at 7 a.m. and you can turn it on or off. You can tap on it to edit it. You can change the name. You can select the dates on which the uh, schedule should be active, basically. So let's say I uncheck the uh, first day. It won't work on first. It will only work on uh, the days selected. And uh, you can then save and here we have our schedule. You can also create another one by tapping Add Schedule. You can name it. I select the days on which the schedule should be working. Select the time. So to set the time, simply tap on Set Time. And here you can swipe up and down to set the hour for the uh, start minutes. Then you can tap on End, set the end time like that, and then tap on Done. And then you can save your schedule. And here we have it. And you can turn it on or off. You can also tap on it and tap on delete this schedule to remove it like this. Uh, and below we have another option we can change for the do not disturb mode. Basically we can turn on or rather change what's allowed and what's not allowed during the do not disturb mode. We can tap on calls and messages and here we can tap on calls. And for example, we can select that the uh, favorite contacts only uh, will go through uh, when the um, not, uh, do not disturb mode is enabled. So basically you will have the sound notification for those calls. Um, next we have the contacts only and all. So you can select different types of contacts. Um, if you enable one of these options, you will be also then able to enable the repeat callers option. What this option does is basically if somebody calls you more than once within a 15 minutes period, a period rather, mm, uh, the call or the sound will go through, the notification will go through basically. And next we have the messages and we can do the same for the messages. And uh, below we have the app notifications. We can add specific apps for them to basically ignore the do not disturb mode. Um, let me change that like that. And done. Oh, we need to confirm by tapping on done. Uh, another thing we can do is alarms and sounds and here we can enable and disable the option to skip the do not disturb mode for different 
features like alarms, media sound, touch sound and stuff like that. Okay, and that's about all. So that's how you enable and how you disable the do not disturb mode on this phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.